Hmm. Fucking emulators. So funnily enough, this is like the only game that's ever happened with. It's just Sunshine. And it's usually because I do dumb shit, like I'll mod Luigi into it or something. Let me pull up my Crash Bandicoot situation here. Why did I say it like that? My Crash Bandicoot situation. Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Thunder, my tongue feels like I burned my taste buds off. Oh no. I'm sorry. That's not good. I'm not sure what you want me to do about this, but I'm sorry. That's awful, in fact. Yeah, the game oh, of Sunshine runs worse, but it should function. Just... This game's gonna hurt my feelings, and I know that for a fact. Have you done the other bridge level or whatever? Not yet. I've been saving that for this moment. Oh, hell yeah. Do you want me to stream it to you or? Yes. Okay. Yes, I'm going to throw I it up on you. To. All right, let me do that right now. I don't know what the likelihood of it actually happening is, but if it does happen, I'm actually really excited for if people in our group start learning to speedrun Mario 64. If and when. I think that'd be fun. I never uh, played through that game, so I'm kind of into like, actually learning it. I think it'd be a good time. Yeah, well, the first run you learn typically is also 16 stars, so it's not like a super long run. It's like 20, 30 minutes. Oh. If I was going to order food right now, what do you think I should order? Kind of feeling like a burger, maybe, but... Hell yeah, burger. Burger would be really good. Burger and fries? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The classic, you know? The classic. Let me do that. Favola, oh, my, my knee jerk was poutine and sushi, but I feel like every time she talks about ordering food, it's always one of those two things. Or pizza. Literally every time. I didn't want to suggest the same things. thing. Yeah. <laughs> I had sushi yesterday, so I can't, I can't do that again. What kind of sauce do you use with fries? I mean, typically places give out ketchup, but if I'm allowed to pick, uh, Zaxby's sauce is really good. Or Cane's. Or Freddy's or whatever, but yeah, I'm getting a burger. Let's go. Chad, I'm trying to remember the plan. Eventually this guy lets you go back to the uh the Sunshine Airport thing. I don't know when that happens. Honey mustard. Honey mustard's real good. Ever played Dead Cells? No. Chat, anybody anybody in here live in or around the St. Louis area? By chance? While we're talking about french fries? What What's special about St. Louis and french fries? I had the best french fries of my life in St. Louis. What was different about them? Uh, I just randomly went to a bar and ordered the Cajun dill fries, I think they were. Oh! And, like, I didn't expect a whole lot, you know, it's just bar fries, whatever, like, they're gonna be fine, but they were really, really good for no reason. Okay. So we're going to Louisiana, then. St. Louis. St. Louis. We're going to St. Louis. For the French fries, yes. For the French fries. All right, I'm jumping into this level. True on air. It was at the top of the 101. I think I think it's called the 101. The rooftop bar in downtown by the Arch. When was this? Recent? <sighs> a month or two ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, I was wondering how you remembered it. I thought it was like a while back. A couple months Have back. Have you ever had um, deep... What's it called? Deep something pizza? Deep crust pizza? What is that called? Um, deep dish? Deep dish! Deep, deep dish, dish pizza! Deep dish or stuffed crust. They're two different things. Oh, my bad. Um, deep dish is like Chicago. Well, Chicago style is like super deep dish. But yeah, we have that around here. And then oh. stuffed crust is just where they put cheese inside your crust. Got you. So deep dish. I want to try that really badly. But I've never, ha I've never had the opportunity because I'm Canadian. You know, and they just don't, they just don't have it up there? That's a crime. They simply don't have it here. Uh, Wiser, thank you for the prime sub. Appreciate you.
Die, Mario. You beat the uh, buff koala boss last time, right? I did. I'm extremely proud of myself. Doesn't Little Caesars have deep dish? Yeah, but I think M wanted food. What's the problem? <laughs> I think M wanted food. That's so funny, dude. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't good enough. Sorry. Pizza isn't food. True on. It's not called the 101. It's called the 360. If you're still there. Then what's the 101? I don't know. There's a lot of places that are just numbers around here, and I, they, they get jumbled in my head. It's kind of random. Oh. What is Detroit-style pizza? I prefer New York. I don't know if you have New York-style up there or not, but... Yes, I have had that before. New York is really thin, good. and I, I don't know. I like, I like it when there's more toppings and there is, like, bread crust. I don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, the Cajun dill, true, if you're ever back around there. It kind of depends on if the crust's really good. I really like sauce on pizza. I think um, a good sauce is like very important stuff, guys. Key, key, key thing to have. I'm gonna finish Chicago style. I'll be real, Chicago style is fine, but it's lasagna. And lasagna people from sucks. people from Chicago. Well, I kind of like lasagna, but people from Chicago hate it when you you point out these truths. But what shine is this? <laughs> the Yoshi shine. Oh, I know this one. It sucks. I think Dotto helped open my eyes on this game. Oh, yeah? Why? <laughs> well, I used to... I, my go-to was always, hey, this is my second favorite Mario game. Next to uh, Galaxy. But now that I replay it, <laughs> every time I booted up a level, <laughs> a level, Dotto's like, this is the worst level of the game. But I liked every it growing up. Every single time? Yeah, well, and the more I think about it, he's not wrong. Because every time he says it, the level coming up sucks. But it's like, I don't know. It's like, the game should be fun. But every level just happens to be the worst one ever made. It's weird. I fondly remember um, Sunshine as being my favorite Mario game. But maybe that's just me being unnecessarily nostalgic. I don't know. And remembering things completely incorrectly. Because if that's the case, no. Then so it can't I, be that good. I still think that now. Is oh. it's it's my it's well second favorite, but still, like I still think it's really good now. But then the more I heard Donald talk, the more I was like, you know what? He's fuck. He's kinda right. I always hated this level. But it's like every other level, I feel that way. This map is hard. I feel like in this game, you have to freaking die a thousand times to understand each level, and then you can clear it. There's a lot of uh, trial and error. Yes, at least for me. I don't know if it's like that for everybody else. It definitely wasn't like that for you and Rhyme. Well, not on the early levels, but... I'm sure I would get to a point where that game would start kicking my ass. I'm sorry, but who remembers Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars on Super Nintendo? All I'm going to say, pal, is you better be lucky you're sorry. <laughs> you had it coming. Ooh, I'm gaming, I'm gaming, I'm gaming. First crash is rough late game. Oh, good news. That's where I'm heading. Yeah, facts. How many levels are in this game? Crash? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. I've never actually beat Crash before. Um, I played it one time in 2017 for like half an hour. <laughs> for a, a stream thing and then I never turn it on again until the other day. I wrecked myself? I wrecked myself again? Am I dumb? I think I'm dumb. You're fine. I'm also not looking though. You could be really fucking it up. I'm really... <laughs> I'm really fucking it up. Chat, you're about to see what gaming looks like. Because that's what I do! <gasps> Why do I suck? 
I thought I just kicked myself off the edge. I was going to be so sick. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Not today. Not like this. Please. Have I played any Paper Mario? No. Does Paper Mario appeal to you at all? Not really. Same. I watch other people play it. That's one of the games where, like, if a streamer I like is queued up for it, I'll kick back and let them chill on it, but I'd... I never looked at Paper Mario and was like, I need to play this. Okay, I almost really made the same mistake a thousand times in a row, and I hate myself for that. Okay. Okay. I hear one of the, I hear Thousand Year Door is one of the best games ever. To me, it's kind of like like Dark Souls or Resident Evil. I don't like playing either of those games, but I acknowledge that they're probably good. You never played Resident Evil? I tried a couple times when the new ones started coming out. Mm -hmm. um, the Eight? remakes, the remakes of two and three. I tried both those, and both times I was like, oh. not for me. But like, I'll watch, no. I'll, I'll watch I'll watch Runeby play them. I watch Runeby play through them. The whole playthrough. Like, I know they're good games. I like watching it. I just don't. Oh, fuck. Mario, we're fumbling <gasps> the bag. I'm stupid. Hey, what happened to all your apples? Didn't you have, like, 700? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I did have 700. And I, and I lost them all. I lost them all. Plenty of time left on the clock. And the one I ever finished was seven. I was watching Nano play seven a little bit. Hi, cat. No, oh, I'm stupid. Not again. Not like this. All right. Is it worth it to get all the fruits? Oh, no, it's not. It's not. It's really not. Done the math. It's not. <laughs> it's really not. Oh, Chad, I have to start doing 100 coin shine soon. Oh, what a dream. I, I'm determined. I'm so determined right now. For no reason. Mario hoops. I can always forget Mario made a basketball game. The only basketball Mario I ever played was bomb skip ball on Mario Party 2. He's bouncing. Bouncing? Gaming legend Emero? <laughs> I'm so stressed out. I've never been this stressed out in my life. No! Oh my god. Oh little my god. One, no, a little one tap oh and god. go back. Oh my god. I'm so scared to do that. You can just... Oh, All she right. did it! I did it, but I don't get any freaking lives. Why did I do this? You made it look easy. Point? No, Thank I think you. every hundred apples you get alive. Maybe I'm on crack. I yeah. do! Yeah, yeah. <gasps> like every 50 oh or 100 apples God. you got alive. You weren't on crack, Thunder. This is great! For the first time in forever, Thunder isn't on crack. Snorting G Fuel, guys, is what that means. Yeah, Tonio, blue coins actually are the worst part of this game. Which is why this is a 96 shine run where I'm getting every shine in the game that isn't a blue coin shine. Super Mario Strikers is the best soccer's ever looked. The only redeeming thing about soccer in the history of soccer is that Super Mario Strikers came out of it. I'm really happy you feel the same way as me, Thunder. Yes. Goddamn. I just I never understood the appeal of soccer. Yeah, it's the sport for fourth graders. Other countries take seriously. I don't know. <laughs> Shit. I'm gaming right now. I might be gaming right now. I might. Gaming right now? Is this gaming? Is this Emma Rome, known gamer. Maybe gaming right now. Is this the real life? Is this just gaming? Okay. I had a weird period, so like I'd play Madden, which is an American football game. Um, yes, I know, I know of Madden. But I'd, I'd, I'd play Madden, and soccer fans would look up the Twitch directory for Madden to go in there and say, hey, American football's bad, soccer's better. And it's like, you're weird, man. That is kind of weird. And I had to sit there and tell them that their sport was like watching grass grow, but with a bunch of soccer players running around. <laughs> you had to tell them. It was required of you. They came into my Madden streams. 
I get it. Oh, also, yeah, Rip Legend, Rip Madden. I about went live with, if we weren't doing something on here, I, I was going to go live with Madden. I still might sometime this week. You should. Oh my god, I almost lost my life. I lost my life. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. So do you, uh, what is the story behind John Madden? Do you know? Because I'm kind of a bit of a, bit of a blonde here. Uh, just, yeah, so John Madden something. was the head coach for the Oakland Raiders, and he has the best win percentage ever. In 10 seasons as a head coach, he won 70% of his games, which is just an insane amount for football. Like, it's wow, not touched. But, uh, and then he was also the face of the football games, Madden. When he got mm -hmm. away from being a coach, they were like, you're going to be the guy. And then EA approached him and made him the guy, and they... He was a commentator in it, and they named the game after him. And then for the first, like, five or so, maybe even more Madden games, maybe closer to ten, if you didn't know what play you wanted to run, you could, there was literally an Ask Madden button, and then he'd, like, tell you, well, you should probably do this. Um, oh, that's so cool. Yeah. And then and after that... his ten years as a coach, he was a broadcaster, and he got really, really good. Everybody just really liked hearing games commentated by Madden because he knew what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. Um... And then, yeah, he eventually retired from that. They put him in the Football Hall of Fame. And then the other day, he uh, yes. uh, passed away. But yeah, yes, that, yes, yes. that's more or less the Madden, the quick Madden lowdown. I was just wondering how he got kind of involved in... Uh, I knew he was involved in football. It was how he got involved in the games. That's really cool. Thanks. Yeah, he was a broadcaster up to a nine. And then when they got rid of him, they put in Chris Collinsworth. And I hate that guy. <laughs> Anytime I fly up the game and I gotta hear Chris Collinsworth voice, I lose my mind. Is that bad, eh? I'm uh, I'm not a fan. Okay, I'll take, uh, I'll trust you. I'm not a fan either. Chat, am I missing the bell? I must just be missing the bell. Right, I think I might have beaten the level. There you go. Eighty-six yes! box. That level must have been huge. Yeah. It was pretty big. Yeah, am I missing the bell? There we go. There we go. I just had to find the sweet spot. Are you talking about, oh my god, Tony, are you talking about fucking Gary? That's such a throwback. My burger's almost here. Let's go. Ba -bum -ba -bum -bum. I'm almost at the freaking level. <sighs> Crater of Madness, thank you for Prime 16 months. Appreciate you. Game is so weird. That bell is just fucked. I don't know why. Okay. Okay. Why is this level not a platform? I I'm very confused. All right, the top down angle. This is really weird. Not a fan. Do you know how to activate the mask? Um, so the mask, when you get a mask, it mm -hmm. allows you to take a hit for free, right? Oh. And you can get two of them, and then you can take two hits for free. But if you don't take any hits and you keep the mask, when you get a third one, that's when you, be, that's when you like get oh. the invincibility. Oh, you get the little... What yeah. the heck is going on Oh, here? you're getting shot at! Yeah, he's trying to kill me, dude. What the heck? Excuse me! This 90s gangster is just laying into it. <laughs> he really was. I don't, know why I, I don't know why I said 90s. It was like 40s, but... Yeah, definitely 40s. Chad, do you guys know how close M is to beating Crash 1? 
have to beat the game now, guys. I have no other choice. It's the only goal that I have in life. Oh! Why would I do that to myself? Chat over under. Do you guys think Dada would think this is the worst level in the game or not? Because this one, I feel like this one, you're either going to like it or you're going to hate it. The one that I'm doing? Or the one that you're doing? No, the one I'm doing. Ah. Uh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. This okay. is the level I was talking about earlier that sucks. Oh, I know this level. <gasps> That's a nice little rainbow. I this level too. 100%, I think y'all should hype squawk to summon him. Check, can we get some hype squawks? You know what's fucked about this level chat is typically you don't want to take a hit, right? Because that's bad, it lowers your health. And there are literally poison gas bubbles floating up at you. But you're also losing air. And the gas bubbles are being breathed out by this big thing. So you actually want to float into him. Take the hit and it's full of air and it replenishes you. I'm so dumb! Why? Sorry. Okay, I'm really- okay. She's climbing the actual tower now. She's about 75%. Gotcha, gotcha. 75% done the game? All right, we're cleaning teeth out here. Now you went to dental school? You're gonna need some air soon, but we're cleaning teeth out here. Hey, right. I did something. Feel proud of myself. I'm sorry, did I miss the air bubble? There we go. You're knocking these levels out like crazy. I actually am. I'm kind of proud of myself right now. This is amazing. It's much better than before when I was stuck on the same one for three hours. <laughs> Cinna is somewhere shaking right now. I know that much. <laughs> Just loading the game up and crying. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, this looks fun. So they made the game a lot more complicated now. It, it appears to have stepped it up a notch, yeah. Oh, God. Please, please. Chat, what were some of the questions they were getting in Brain Age? What was fucking sent up so bad? Yeah, I want to know. Actually, even better. What was Dotto knocking out of the park? <gasps> Is there any, like, hidden genius traits Dotto had you guys didn't see coming? We need these details. Math? Dotto is killing memorization? Birds Dotto's in a cage? A, Dotto's a visual thinker. It wasn't questions, it was the difference in their reaction times. I was so distracted by your chat that I died. Hype squawk worked. Oh, Dotto! This is the worst level in the game. Dotto, I don't know if you were here. I don't know if you're here and you're fulfilling the bit. Or if you literally just showed up. But when I queued up to this level, I said, Chat, do you guys think Dotto would think this is the worst level in the game or not? Wait, is he here? Oh, he is! He did, he popped in chat. That's so funny. What the heck? He just summoned you. Dotto's memorization's amazing. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The coins are a heart. Yeah, the giant creepy eel is actually thankful you cleaned his teeth, even though he tried to eat you several times during that.
Now, chat, I didn't see what happened to her, but I'm gonna assume it wasn't, in fact, cool, based on the tone. <laughs> that was, uh... Nah, I really did just enjoy myself so much. You should play the game with me. You know? You really like this this part. Cra I could queue up Crash next I mean, I'm kind of in, in sunshine right now, but next time... No, no, time... no, you're... you're yeah, no, you're... You're busy, and I can respect that. Next time, or maybe I'll beat Crash, like catch up to you or whatever, and then when you start Crash 2, I'll be there. Sounds good to me. I kind of am determined to beat this now. You're getting there. Okay. Foolish man, I am El Piantissimo. Yes, that's me. You guys know the lore behind this, right? This dude we're looking at? Uh, he's supposed to be the running man from Legend of Zelda. But in a mask. And then one time they data mined him and they took his mask off to see what he looks like and he looks like the running man. <laughs> Word? Yeah, it's, you can look that up. There's no, like, Nintendo, like, confirmed it or anything, but they data mine took his face off, and it looks a lot like the Running Man. And you can even see it with the mask on still. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Haha, I cheated. That. Wait, fish, no! Okay. All right, chat, let the record show cheating works. I gotta be fast, I gotta be fast, I gotta be speedy, I gotta be speedy. I gotta be speedy. I gotta be super speedy. He's being speedy. I'm being speedy as hell. I'm so speedy right now. Yeah, she's being speedy. I'm speedy. Did you know that I'm speedy? All right, let's go. Pantissimo, get over here. Okay. Okay, I got all the ladies. Okay. Hey, what up, Stanley? Dotto did so well, he decided to do sin as after. He just give the big bye. Wave his hand. I guess you guys couldn't see him if he waved his hand. <laughs> and were you speedy? Uh, I was speedy. I was speedy as hell, but I, it wasn't enough, Thunder. It wasn't enough. Okay. Okay, I don't suck at the game. I don't suck at the game. I don't suck at the game. Nice. I do suck at the game. I suck at the game. Oh <laughs> shit, chat. Secret star. <gasps> Where is it? It's around here somewhere. I'm about to put this dude's fire out just so he shuts up. I'm sorry that I'm making all these noises, Thunder. I'm <laughs> just getting cooked. That's how I know you're into it. <laughs> I'm Z, I'm mostly trying to convince myself, dude. I'm trying to convince myself. Chat, did they patch it out? Nope, okay. bingo, found it. What is that? Yeah, that guy really is on fire just running next to the ocean. How on earth do I, can I put this out? Oh, I am so good at the Bay Run. Let's go. Killing it. Oh, chat. Let me get you guys back on screen. There you go. Okay, let me BRB really fast. I'm just going to grab my, my food. Yeah, you're fine. Chad, I'm actually going to turn my heater down real quick.
LT Captain, I've actually thought of that before. I'm sure a lot of people have. I think it'd be a funny bit. VTuber Dotto. I don't know if he'd go for it or not, but I'd laugh. Um, what am I doing? Oh, we're going over here. We're going this way. You guys know the fastest way to travel is by sliding. Oh, that guy lit his backpack on fire again. Low battery? It's at 100%. You guys want to see the meta? The real meta? I use the PlayStation 5. Because the Switch doesn't have a fucking charger port or whatever. I have to pull it out of the back. I hate that. To charge the Switch Pro Controller. Because they run off the same charger. That's how that's done. Has anyone here made a Dotto VTuber skin yet? Made Dotto a VTuber skin yet? So here's the thing with VTuber stuff. Uh, you know what? A cheap one would only be like five frames. And that's not that bad. But usually, VTuber models cost like thousands of dollars or at least a thousand dollars. Yeah, the rigs and everything too. Yeah, gotta get it all figured up. Or a good one. Don't go into the water, don't go into the water. Blop. What did you have for dinner, Um, chicken and rice. Nice. I'm trying to eat healthier, but I've really fucked it up during the holidays. That's what the holidays are for. Yeah. Before this all started, I was right at or just under 195 pounds, and now I'm pushing 200 again, so I'm just thrilled. <laughs> so excited about it. Nice. Yeah. New year, new you. Two thousand USD for an entry level VTuber setup. Yeah, it's not even one of the crazy ones. Have you you've seen? Yeah, you know who Code Miko is. Mm -hmm. Um, her setup yeah. was crazy. I don't know. She's just on a whole different level with all that. She was in the uh, event I was in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Her setup is nuts. I guess she she used to like animate for Disney or Pixar or something like that. Really? She was part of like their 3D modeling team or whatever, and yeah, that's when she she left that, and then that's when she did the. Uh... I actually didn't know that. That's really cool. To know. That's why she was able to do all that stuff herself. Oh no, is he too far in the water? I think he's too far in the water. No, he isn't. Yeah. So in classic no! Mario fashion, we showed up. There was a caterpillar. Pleasantly sleeping on top of... We would have done this last stream. There's a caterpillar pleasantly sleeping on a warm thing up top. We knock him off of it. He obviously wakes up mad, so we kill him. Which is just some classic Mario behavior. <laughs> Have you ever played Mario Galaxy, Em? Uh, a little bit, yeah. The very first level of Mario Galaxy. Mario flies to all these galaxies. He's going to planet planet. It looks cool as hell. He shows up on a planet. Cracks open the egg of an unborn PD baby. Oh my god. The egg, he comes out, Petey does, and Pete, he's not throwing a fuss, he's just like kind of sniffling because he's like, oh, I guess I was just born, or whatever, <laughs> preemptively. And then Mario kills him for the first power star. That's how you get the first power star in the game. <laughs> That's so messed up. He shows up, kills what? an unborn, like, <laughs> oh, what does it say? Pulls a baby out of its freaking egg and yeah. kills it. Cracks open an unborn baby and kills it for the power star. And it's like, you could have just... Somehow that's fine. You could have just let him keep that one, Mario. You didn't have to do all that. He was on his, his own planet. <laughs> that's crazy. Cancel Mario. A little late for that one. He's already wiped out half the Goomba population by himself. Boing. Oh, shit. I should have grabbed the rocket nozzle. Hey, what up, Julie? You can break this level in half with the rocket nozzle. I'm 
watching your your gameplay right now? That's a bird. What? It's a sand bird level. Dotto, Dotto. I don't know if you're still here or not. Best level in the game. I did not want to collect that blue coin. Worst level in the game. Uh, you don't course. go for the regular coins at all? Um, I don't bother collecting the blue coins because I'm not going to get all those because they suck. Uh, the regular coins really only refill your health in a stage like this. Or you can go for the 100 coins, but that's different. Got you, got you. There he is. This might also be the worst level in the game. That's what I was saying this earlier. I was like, I think you've made me realize I might not... <laughs> this game might not be as good as I think it is. Because every time you say it's the worst level in the game, I'm like, he's kind of right, but it's like... Actually, every other level in the in the game is bad, even though I have fond memories of this. Mario! Okay. I used to die in this level a lot as a kid. The turn always fucked me up. Oh my god, I hated this bird. <laughs> Every level is bad, but the game is good. I, I can see that. I co-sign on that. So a bunch of uh, PTSD-inducing experiences make, make a game good. Got it. <sighs> Look, you know what it was like growing up young playing video games? Because they used to make the games hard. Because we didn't have, we couldn't look up guides on the internet initially. If you did, it would take forever because dial up, and then you buy guidebooks in the store. And then also, I was a child who didn't have money, so I got games two times a year: Christmas and my birthday. And if I got a shitter game, guess what? I was playing the shitter game for six months. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when Nintendo had like a magazine? Nintendo Power. Yeah, is that still a thing? Still I exist? don't know. Um. My uncles used to collect it, so they have, at my grandma's house, they're like some of the really old Nintendo powers. Are still hanging out in there. Badass. Where am I going? Oh, yeah, I still want to do that level. I ain't done with you yet. Damn, 10 years. That's crazy. I wish they still did that. That was kind of nice. I mean, I don't know if anyone would buy it, but... Physical magazines kind of fell off, and Nintendo was definitely too slow to get on the internet wave. Mm-hmm. The Mayans got Nintendo power. Good God. <laughs> Any of y'all watching The Witcher? I just started season two. I'm like one episode deep into season two. Dude, I still love this game. I know that some of the levels suck, but this is so cool. I love how you can spray things and find things and like. That's what I'm the saying. That's cool. <laughs> What Dotto kept saying, he's like, I have fond memories of this. It's just every level. Is... I never knew about that star. Yeah, I think every level has a secret star where you do some shit like that. I think I figured it out. You have to hate the journey so you can love getting to the end. Right. This is a game where it's not about the journey. It's about the destination. Yeah, you're just trying to beat it. <laughs> On second thought, that sounds awful. Mm. No, you were fine. Can you send Mario to the moon in this game? No. it is 100% of it takes place on this island. It's actually, I really like the contrast between this game and Galaxy because I feel like they both do their job very, very well, but they're very different. Because this game, it's all one connected island. 
And even when I go to the beach, this beach is around the corner somewhere. And if I go like over here, you can see uh, Rico Harbor or Bianco Hills or whatever from this place. So it's all just one big connected community that gets brighter and brighter. But in Galaxy, it's the complete fucking opposite. Every planet you go to is completely different from the one before. And you just get blasted off in outer space. Endless possibilities in Galaxy. The reward you get for completing Sunshine isn't worth it. You talking about the uh, the shades and the the shirt? Oh yeah, technically you can do rocket storage, or there's that glitch with the secret star I just got, where you can ground pound at the right spot and fling yourself. So t yes, actually you can. You <coughs> you were talking about the glitch thing. Um. I couldn't do it. I tried to do it the other day. The ground pound on that secret star, and I couldn't find the spot. That's not to say it's not there. It's just I was not hitting it. How close to the end are you? Uh, well, I'm going for 96 shines, and I have like 45-ish right now. Okay. <clears throat> nice. I'm just kind of collecting them in any order. Super Mario Galaxy 2 better than Mario Galaxy? Uh, most people will tell you yeah if they played both. I don't think so, but that's just because I really like the hub world. I really like the hub world in Galaxy 1. Uh, so, like, the levels, to an extent, and the power-ups are better in Galaxy 2. But Galaxy 2 doesn't have a hub world, and I fucking love the hub world in Galaxy 1. I know that's not a big deal, but it is to me. And then, I also really like Rosalina, and she's not really into that much at all. Where she's sort of the figurehead for one. All right, Jay, you guys want to see something? You guys want to see something neat? Okay, so this level, at the top of the Ferris wheel, this is the runaway Ferris wheel, yeah. At the top of this Ferris wheel, there's a, a sleeping monster, so you have to get up to the Ferris wheel. So they want you to come back here, climb up this, flip those, jump on that, avoid those guys, go through like seven layers, spring up, and uh, don't die. And don't fall off or you fall to the bottom. And that's how you're supposed to do the... Damn it! I tried it. Um, that's how you're supposed to do the Ferris wheel. But. Hold on. Okay, I'm almost back to winning a crash. There it is. How's your burger? Freaking delicious, dude. Great choice. But chat, if you're an elite level gamer... You can actually ignore all that shit. And just hover through. Oh? Psych! Oh my god, they patched it out. They patched me out. What do you mean? Hold on, I haven't done this in a minute. It might not be as easy as I thought. He said an elite level gamer. Suck back, kid! Low patched. Tarek, they patched me out. Psych, they didn't patch me out. I'm an elite level gamer. Tarek, maybe seven months, buddy. Did you do it? Yep. You did it? Yeah, you just hover yeah. through the thing. Skip the whole level. Wow. Great. You're kind of a genius? No, I watched somebody else do it. Isn't Rosalina seven foot three? It depends. <laughs> but you know what? I hope she is. I hope she is. I fell! I slid off the side. You have to go back up? Yeah, I fell off by accident. Mm. Rosalina's what? Rosalina's gotta be like, Rosalina's like 90 feet tall. I haven't played Galaxy. Even when you play Mario Kart, she's listed as a uh, heavy character. <coughs> okay, Mario. This is real life. Oh my god. That stressed me out. <coughs> nice! Congrats! Rosa, lean on you want people leaning on your nuts? 
That's a horrible joke. <laughs> Chad, I need to start doing 100 coin shines, and I really, really don't want to. Um, I have everything in Bianco, which is sick. Uh, 100 coin shine, Enrico Harbor, and maybe the secret shine? I don't know where the secret shine is. Rosalina's 7'3 and weighs 236 pounds. What a queen. Do Pachinko. Did Pachinko last time. <laughs> Thank God. I never want to do that again. Damn, she is tall. How many tries? So I game over doing it with the hover nozzle, and then Dotto was a joke, told me to grab the rocket nozzle, and I first tried it. I don't even know where to get 100 coins in half these levels. That's going to be my problem. And I don't have every shine in Bianco because I didn't get 100 coins. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm back. I'm back to my, my business. She's gaming. Back to my business. Let's go. My business of winning all the... Oh, God. I almost did an awful thing. Forgot people. No, the thing that kills me, Chalk, is if you hold straight to the left when you go up, or if you try to hover or ground pound, it pushes you to the right. So that top left one always fucks with me. Okay, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. It's gonna take you a minute to get back in the feel of it now. Yep. But I'm a gamer, so I got this. How do I get down there? That looks fun. Ooh, who would want to fight between Rosalina and Lady Dimitrescu? That's a very good question. If you're giving Rosalina a Luma, I think Rosalina wins that. Yeah, so the cool thing about 100 coin shines in this game is that the coins disappear in two seconds. So when you make coins, you have two seconds to pick them up, or you just lose them. It's a super fun thing that they did. Okay. Okay. After playing Sunshine for the first time in about 20 years, it really dropped on the Mario tier list. Yeah, so last time I played this game, the other day, Dada was in call. And he kind of brought up a good point where he had fond memories of this game as a kid. Me too. But then every time a level queued up, he's like, yeah, this is the worst level in the fucking game. Mm-hmm. Half the levels you get to it, you're like, these are bad. I'm sorry, I know you heard me say that like 30 times when I was telling Chalk. No, I know. I figured. I saw his comment. Game starts off strong and dips hard. The last level in the game, the one on top of the thing, is actually my favorite. The one with the fluff festival at the end. I love that level. Am I doing it wrong? There we go. 